Hi, I'm Amy from Amy Parker Art. I teach you how to make money with your art. I'm going to show you today how to package a painting using what I call the sandwich method. Um, so this is like my own how to, um, what I do with my own paintings. And I'm going to show you how easy this really is because a lot of you are like, Oh my gosh, I want to ship my paintings from home, but I don't really know how to package it. Well, that's what I'm going to show you right now. Nobody needs to sweat it. It's not really that difficult. I'm going to tell you, um, well, first off, there's numerous ways to do this, right? And if you don't want to package yours this way, you don't have to, but I'm going to show you the easiest ways to do it. I get like corrugated board like this cardboard right? And I use my X-Acto knife and I cut them to whatever size my painting is. So say I'm going to be shipping this one is a 16 by 20 painting. So what I do is I just put my canvas down on my long sheets of corrugated board and I trace around it. I don't put my painted canvas down, by the way. I put one that I didn't paint on, okay? Hello, Laura, how you doing? I really can't see that far away, but thank you so much for being on. So I will check and see what you're saying in a minute. Um, yeah, so what I do is I get um, these sheets. You can order them on Uline.com. They are expensive if you order them that way in like a big package, but you get uh, quite a few of them. Um, or you can do the cheap free version, which is, guess what? You can go to Walmart. Um, this is what I do anyway. And over in the water section, um, soda, water, all that, where they have these big sheets of board separating all the waters um, and all the drinks, I go down that aisle every time I'm shopping. And if I see one that's empty or almost empty, I will ask an associate, hey, can I take this? Because they're just going to throw it out in the trash anyway or the recycle because we all should be recycling. Um, so, yes, you can do that. Get some free ones, or you can order from Uline.com. The ones from Uline are going to be nice and thick. Um, the thicker, the better, because, you know, you don't want it to bend. So, what I do, I just told you, I trace around it the size of my painting. So, now I have two pieces. You want two to do this. All right, so I have my painting. I have my two pieces of cut corrugated board that I use my X-Acto knife to cut. And then what I do is I just put, put them in like a sandwich. Seriously, that's why I call it my sandwich method. So I take one board and I put that down and then I put the other one on top of it so that voila, we have a sandwich here. We have the two boards um, cardboard and the painting in the middle. This is why I like to get thick ones because you don't want it to be flimsy, right? Um, you can, okay, here's a tip for all of you artists that have like, um, a lot of texture going on, like high texture that lifts off the canvas. If that's the case, you want to put like a bubble wrap on like this one side of it first. You can wrap the whole thing if you want, but at least on the face of it, so that when the cardboard touches it, it's not gonna push in on those textured pieces. Hopefully that makes sense. You can ask me anything you want, and I'm a little bit blind, and I'm kind of far away from the camera. So I will go back and look and see what you're saying, and I'll answer for you, okay? So anyway, I've got my sandwich going on here. There we go. And then, voila, tell your family to save you these. Hello, we're going to pretend like we're in school and we're going to save the paper towel and toilet paper rolls, all right? So what I do with these is I just cut them the length. You want to make sure that they're, they're the length of your tape or a little bit more, okay? So this is what I like to use for packing tape, my Scotch packing tape. So I'm going to make sure that I'm cutting these pieces of the um, paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls, whatever you're going to use, um, so that it's going to fit the width of my tape, my packing tape. Oops, there we go. I just dropped one on the floor, but I'll grab that in a second. Okay, so voila, 
there we go. This one's a little bit long. I'm just going to cut the end of that off. And I'm going to grab my piece that fell down. So hold on a minute. Oh, Peekaboo. <laughs> now that you have these, you want four pieces, okay? So if you're saving toilet paper rolls, you want to have two rolls, which will make four. Um, or the paper towel roll that I just showed you, I cut up into four four. And then what we want to do is we want to cut right up the center so that this opens up like, like so. Now you can literally purchase all kinds of packing stuff, but I'm trying to give you tips on how you can save money by packing your paintings and how you can make sure that your painting is safe, right? So this is what I'm doing is I'm just cutting up the center of all of these paper towel rolls that we cut into fours. And then all you do is you put t make sure that this is nice and um, covered. You don't want your painting sticking out anywhere, okay? Um, and you want it like evenly in the center. So then to tape this together without touching the actual painting is what we're using these pieces for. So I'm going to just go like this and see, it just kind of hugs it like that because of the roll. So that's a double added bonus. Then what you do, actually I might have to change my tape. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough to actually show you this. Maybe I will. I'll try it. So I'm going to just tape this painting together um, with obviously my tape. And this way, if we wrap it around the roll, it is not going to touch the painting at all, okay? I know you're like, well, the edges are still out. What are you going to do? I will show you in just a second. So you want to do this on all four sides, okay? So you want to wrap this on all four sides to make sure that it's nice and sandwiched in there. Um, you guys, I used to do bubble wrap upon bubble wrap upon bubble wrap, and buy, you know, the expensive boxes from New Line, which I still do have some of those, and I will when I do an art show, and I have numerous pieces to send out. But if you're just sending out um, a single painting to a customer, literally this is all you have to do. Now, if it's a small painting, like an 8x10, um, even 11 by 14, you can get free boxes on USPS.com, if you are shipping uh, priority like I do, um, and then, you know, you can just actually wrap and put your painting right in the box. But where I like to paint on larger sizes, like a 16 by 20, because my customers love that. They're like, oh my gosh, I got a nice big size painting and it's amazing. So if you're painting something on this size, then you're going to want to have, you're going to want to use the sandwich method. So there you go. You can see that all four sides are nice and secured. My painting's not going to fall out and the tape is not touching the painting at all anywhere because it's on the roll. Okay, so now what I do, sorry if you can hear the dog. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but hashtag real life is going on. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, I was going to show you. I get, I highly recommend these rolls, okay? Now, this is like packing paper. <clears throat> if you get this at the post office, it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. You still can if you want. You can also get it on Uline. I say Uline a lot because they have so many things to choose from uh, for helping you to pack. But I'm all about being frugal and helping you save money. So, I get these which are just like just like the postal paper. It may be a little tiny bit thinner than postal paper, but I get these for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Okay, wait a second. I think it's a dollar twenty-five now, right? Because of inflation. So it may be the dollar twenty-five store. But anyway, um super cheap, right? So this says craft paper roll with a K, craft paper roll. They spell like I do. Um, so, and look at how much you can get on a roll. I mean, that is a ton. If I remember correctly, and I'm trying to think of the last time I masked um, packaged paintings, 
but just by looking at this roll, I'm guesstimating I can probably get three or to three to five 16 by 20 size paintings wrapped with just one craft paper roll. Okay, so it's sort of like you know the um, paper bag. Sorry about the glitch. But when we had to cover our books in school, you know, that kind of stuff, right? So all I do, and I'm just going to move this to the side because I already have one cut. Um, so all I do, because I have my sandwich painting, but the sides are still exposed, literally I'm going to wrap it like a present with that um, craft paper, packing paper, whatever you want to call it. Just wrap it up like a present and then you would be good to go. So I do have a couple of tips here for um, after you wrap it like a present, right? Um, you don't want any of the paper um, where the edges are, like right here and right here. You don't want this open because it could easily get... You know, your postman can pick it up and rip right through it, right? So after you wrap it like a present, um, you want to take your packing tape and go over all of those exposed areas. I'm kind of doing a quick wrap job here. So do you know what I mean? You want to just take this, take your tape, go right down, right through the seam, and... Keep going around the whole thing. Yes, it uses a bit of tape, but you know what? I would rather it be safe than not safe. On the corners, I just pull it up a little bit higher and kind of pull and wrap it around and then kind of squish it in there with my hand so that the corner is all secure. So literally, that's my how to package a painting sandwich method. This will save you money with shipping too. It's not going to cost you as much as opposed to if you purchased a larger box and shoved a bunch of paper towels, or I shouldn't say paper towels, like um, a newspaper crumbled up, or even this actual uh, packing paper works good for that, or if you have a bunch of bubble wrap. Basically, this is the size of your painting. It might come out just a little bit larger when you go to put the dimensions in, but this will save you money because of the size and the weight. All right, it's still not super cheap to ship all over the country, but that's what I do anyway, and my customers pay for shipping. They um, know that's how I roll. They, they know they're going to pay for shipping, and um, so they have no problem doing so because I'm up front with that. Um, here's another tip. After you've packaged your painting, go to your handy-dandy printer. If you don't have a printer and you want to work from home as an artist, you need to get a printer. Unless you want to go to the post office every time you sell a painting. Um, and if you're like me and you are doing it like full time, you're going to be every day or every other day, right? Um, but you can pick days that you want to go. You don't have to do it every day or every other day. But I was selling paintings for three years straight um, on a regular basis, like daily basis, right? Um, so if you want to go to the post office, that's great, but I know how awesome it is to just work from home and not have to leave your house if you don't want to. So you get your handy dandy printer. Um, you go onto your computer, right? Your customer pays for your painting, um, hopefully through PayPal or, you know, I shouldn't say hopefully, but my creative warriors know that's what I really love to use. I've been using PayPal for years, um, but there's numerous other ways that they can pay you, which is, which is fine. As long as you're getting paid, right, to ship it out. So they pay for your painting, they pay for your shipping. You go on to PayPal if you're using that, and you go to um, print out. Well, they pay their invoice, so you want to go to make a label. So print a label. That's what I do. And then I get all my labels ready, and then I put my paper in the printer and print out my label, stick it right on. But I want to show you, this is in regular computer paper. This is actually paper that I purchase on Amazon. Look at this. It is sticky, the sticky labels. And this will make your life a lot easier. If you are a fast painter and you're, 
or, or even if you're not a fast painter, say that you painted a whole bunch of paintings, you just did an art show. One of our creative warriors, Gail, congratulations, just did an online art show and sold some paintings. Um, so, I mean, I love to do on, online art shows like that. So if you do that and you have like a bunch to print out, um, it's so much easier because then you can just put this through the printer. It will print out your customer's label and then you pull this open and just stick it right on the front of your package and you go put the little flag up on your mailbox and then your mailman will just come right to your door and pick it up. Voila, like magic. That is so cool to me. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's easy, easy peasy, um, easy as pie to package a painting. And I'm gonna see what you're saying. Hold on a second. Hello, Lisa. Thank you for being here. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. I apologize. I was so far away from the phone. It was hard to see what was going on as far as comments. Um, but uh, even if you're watching this on the recording, go ahead and say hi. Let me know um, how it's going for you today. So Laura says, I've, I've gone to Walmart and gotten the cardboard in the water section. Yay! Laura's done it too. Woo, woo. So you know exactly what I mean. Um, those of you who are on my email list, check your emails because I sent you one today. And just to give you a recap of what's happening here at Amy Parker Art, Creative Warriors is open right now to the public. So if you want to get in, now is your chance. Um, whatever price you join at, which... Um, you know, you, your price is never going to go up. The th the reason why I raise the price a little bit intermittently is because I have so much information in there for you. There's a ton of trainings on how to, you know, start, run, and grow your art business. We have the community aspect with our amazing creative warriors who love to help each other. So anyway, the membership is open right now only until Sunday night. I only open two times a year for that. So jump in if you want. Um, also, here's the schedule of what's happening for the Fall Paint and Business Challenge. So right now is um, day three, right? It's Friday. Friday, right? Yes, Friday. <laughs> so today is day three. So if you miss day one and day two, that's okay. If you had signed up for the challenge, make sure you're in the group for this so that you can get all those amazing things that happened um, day one and day two. So here we are at day three. Um, and I, I'm going to give them this as well on how to pack a painting. And then tonight at 7 p.m., exclusive only for who's in the group for the Fall Paint Business Challenge, I am going to talk to you about how to price a painting. Do you know how many people I get asking this question? Artists, I mean, it is a difficult thing to try and figure out, right? So I'm going to talk to you about that tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. EST inside of the group. Um, if you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know the challenge was going on and you want to sign up, you most certainly can. You can still get in there even if we're already rolling like we are uh, because you're still going to have access to everything in there for up to a month. So you can pause and paint and you can go back if you're working and you miss some of the business trainings, you can still see those after. Um, let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so tomorrow, well, tonight, like I said, we have How to Price a Painting, 7 p.m. EST in the group. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to be painting Solitude, um, which is actually on the easel. I don't know if you can, well, maybe I have to move it this way so you can see. Um, we're going to be painting Solitude right there. And it's, oh my gosh, it's so cool. These paintings that I'm giving you this week are paintings that I've already sold to my own customers. And so I have sold some of them. Um, some of my paintings I do, well, I shouldn't say some, quite a bit. I've done more renditions of because my customers are like, oh my God, I love that. Or I missed out on that. I want to get that one. Um, so I don't know if you're like me, that type of artist, but I have no problem doing a recreation. Um, and because you are taking part in all the festivities this week, whether you're here on the page, whether you're joining Creative Warriors or you're in the Fall Paint Business Challenge, um, the paintings that I'm doing 
um, giving you rights to go ahead and sell. My typical price for something like this, for my quick, fast acrylic paintings, was $60. So even if, if you sold all three, add it up. It's um, pretty awesome, right? Um, so hopefully you will take advantage of that. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else I forgot to tell you. Um, if you want to ask me anything, you go ahead and do so. Thank you so much for the stars, by the way. I appreciate that when you send the stars. All right, so I will see you all tonight um, inside of the group. By the way, uh, Jane, Karen, oh my gosh, I'm loving the paintings I'm seeing that you all are doing um, inside of the challenge. You're so creative. It's so fun to paint together and to ask questions and learn about um, our art businesses and what can be possible right from the comfort of our own home studio. So I will catch you later. Thanks again for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.